Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we will discuss the basic principles and terminologies related to organ donation. First of all, we will discuss what is an organ donation. To understand the organ donation, it is first important to understand organ transplants. A transplant is a medical procedure where one person's dysfunctional organ or tissue is replaced by that of a healthy person thus restoring its function. In certain cases, despite major advances in the medical science, transplant is the only alternative. Transplants drastically improve the quality of the life of the patient and give them another chance to live. To state the obvious, a transplant can only take place if there is an organ available from a donor. While most organs that are transplanted are from deceased donor, Patients may also receive organ from living donors. Living persons can donate a kidney, portion of the liver, lung, pancreas, intestine, blood and still continue to live a normal life. According to the law, however, prerogative on the decision for deceased donor eventually rests with the next of kin of the deceased. In fact, one organ donor can up donate up to 25 different organs and tissues for transplantation and this can save up to 9 lives. Or simply we can tell that a donor can save up to 8 lives through organ donation and heal up to 50 through tissue donations. Our next question is, how does organ donation help patients with organ failure? For the organ recipients, a transplant often means a second chance at life. Vital organs such as the heart, pancreas, liver, kidney and lungs can be transplanted to those whose organs are failing. For some, an organ transplant means no longer having to be dependent on costly routine treatments to survive. It allows many recipients to return to normal lifestyle. For instance, a cornea or tissue transplant means the ability to see again or recovery of mobility and freedom from pain. There arises a question, what are the different types of organ donation? In organ donation, a person pledges during his lifetime that after death, certain organs from the body can be used for transplant to help terminally ill patient get a new lease of life. With recent advances in transplantation, people of all ages and medical histories can donate organs. Even people in their 80s have donated organs in the past. However, the final call on the organ and tissues that can be donated is taken only after doctors analyze the donor's medical condition. As we discussed, there are two types of donation. The first one is the living donation. In living donation takes place when the living person donates an organ for transplantation to another person. The living donor can be family member such as a parent, child, brother or sister, grandparent or grandchild. It can also come from someone who is emotionally related to the recipient such as a good friend, relative, neighbor or in-law. The second type is the diseased cadaver donation. The patient has to register in a hospital that does transplants. The patient will be put on a waiting list as and when the organ from an appropriate deceased donor is available, the patient will be intimated. Then there arises the next question, what organs can be donated? Organs that can be donated includes kidneys, liver, pancreas, lungs and heart while tissue constitute eye, skin, bone, bone marrow, nerves, brain, heart valve, eardrum, ear bone and blood can also be donated. In India, the legal position for organ donation is based upon the Transplantation of Human Organs Act that is THO Act of 1994 which allow the organ donation and legalize the concept of brain death. Brain death is irreversible and permanent cessation of all brain functions. 
In situations of brain death, a person cannot sustain his own life, but vital body functions may be maintained in an intensive care unit for a short period of time. Such persons are keep on artificial support to maintain oxygenation of organ so that the organs are in healthy condition until they are removed. Organs of such patients can be transplanted to terminally ill patients. There is an important note that the brain death is not a coma stage. Coma is a state of deep unconsciousness where the brain continues to function and the person can breathe on his own without the help of a ventilator. Thus, unlike brain death, in a coma, the brain still has the capacity to heal. If there is an activity in the brain, the person will not be declared brain dead. In India, a panel of four doctors has to declare you brain dead before your organs can be harvested that is done after a series of exhaustive tests like cornea reflex test, ear reflex test, gag reflex test and aphena reflex test which are repeated twice in a time frame of six hours. The panel must include the medical administrator in charge of the hospital, an authorized specialist, a neurologist or a neurosurgeon and the medical officer treating patient. Then there arises a question, what makes organ donation difficult in India? Finding a donor match is difficult to begin with. In India, this challenge is compounded by bureaucratic hurdles and lack of awareness. The first challenge is the red tapism and lengthy paperwork. According to existing rule, if the potential donor is not related to the person who needs the organ, the transplant needed to be approved by the state level committee or by the hospital committee that includes government officials. The next challenge is that it is often difficult for family members to accept that their loved one is brain dead. On a life support system, the person look like he is sleeping. The fact that the body is warm to touch and the heart is beating make it difficult for the doctor to convince the family member to donate the organ of their relative. Even if the family is ready to donate organ, superstitions and misconceptions became impediments. Another problem is that there are too few surgeons and hospitals equipped for transplants. Ventilators for preserving the organ of a brain dead person and ICU personnel strained to manage such situations are prerequisites for a transplant. And here are the few facts to clear up common misconceptions. First one is organ donation does not disfigure the diseased donor's body. There is a single incision made through which the organ are retrieved and it is ensured that the body is handed back to the family in the most respectful manner. Second one is a healthy organ should be transplanted as soon as possible from the donor to the recipient. Organs must be removed as soon as possible after the determination of brain death while circulation is being maintained artificially. Tissues may be removed within 12 to 24 hours. The donor's family doesn't have to bear any expense for organ or tissue donation. All cost pertaining to the organ transplant surgery will be handled by the recipient's family or the organ transplant program. The organ donation waiting list are made according to the illness, blood type, and time spent waiting in every hospital. Unlike in many western countries where an adult is asked to make a choice if he or she want to be a donor, in India the choice is left to the family. After a person carrying a donor card dies, the family still need to approve the donation of organs. So if you intend to be a organ donor, it is imperative that you inform your family about your wish. And finally, there are very few medical conditions that would automatically disqualify you from the donating any organs or tissue. So don't disqualify yourself. And finally, 
we should think about how can I donate my organ. To be an organ donor, it is important to register by signing up for organ donation. One need to fill a prescribed consent form which can either be downloaded from the National Organ and Tissue Transplant Organization that is NOTO website or it can be assessed from the medical facility that is approached for organ removal. In case of deceased donation, a written consent form from the lawful custodian of the body after the death of the patient is required in a prescribed application form. So these are the basic fundamental principles or theories that should be known in the organ donation scenarios. So my dear student, hope you had understood this topic. So dear students, kindly go through these assignment questions. The question number one is, what is organ donation? Second question is, how does organ donation help patient with organ failure? The third question is, what are the different types of organ donation? Fourth question is, what organs can be donated? And fifth question is, what is India's legal position on organ donation? And finally, the last question is, what makes organ donation difficult in India? So my dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss the donation and transplantation of human organs and tissues. So dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.